Thursday. <laughs> I have a joke. I did not know what day it was. Um, my manager's texting me right now, so let me just sort out some business stuff, and I will come back. If you guys are wondering what this little clip thing is on my phone, it's literally a little light. If you were to be like filming stories in like a very like dark room, um, this would help to kind of like give you extra light. I always get told like my stories are such good quality and all of that. And to be honest, you guys, the trick to it is really just lighting, okay? Everything's about lighting. This is me in my very dark bathroom. This is the light on my face. Guys, when I tell you, if you're ever out at night, you're, you know, you're out with your girls, you wanna shoot some stories, this on your face is like a spotlight and it's so freaking good. Okay, I'm back and with a more appropriate lens for vlogging. I have an appointment at 5.30 for a facial and I'm gonna take you guys and see if I'm allowed to shoot in there. I don't really see why not, but I'm definitely gonna take you guys. And before I do that though, I have about an hour and a half to kill, so I'm gonna use that time to clean up the apartment. I really wanna film an uh, like apartment like mini tour for you guys, but more so just showing you guys what furniture pieces I have in the apartment so far. Um, so not really like a tour, but just like a decor update because I have been adding little changes throughout the home and I thought I'd share that with you guys. And yeah, not really much going on today. I'm a little bit hungry, so I do wanna like heat up some leftovers or make some ramen. I don't have any groceries because I haven't really been here as much. I'm here like maybe like two weeks out of every month if I'm being honest. So I won't be here as much. So I just didn't wanna like buy a whole bunch of groceries that would eventually go bad. So I'm just gonna like make some ramen because I do have that and um, yeah, clean up, and then we're gonna head out to our facial. Um, so yeah, let's do a really quick like speed clean and get ourselves together in that regard. And then hopefully tomorrow before I head, head out, I'm able to like do like a really quick tour. I would really love to do that for you guys. Cause I'm gonna share with you guys. Um, yeah, the space is getting cozy and cozier by the minute and I just wanna share. All right, let's clean.
Okay, now time to get my makeup off for my spa, uh, for my facial and everything. Um, I'm applying this serum though to my hair. This one, I got it from the hair salon I go to. My hair is feeling a little bit dry, which it oftentimes does. And I'm gonna like wrap it a little bit. This is how I sleep with it at night. So it stays nice and flat. Now we look bald headed, but that's okay. To remove my makeup, I'm gonna be using my Green Clean. This is my favorite makeup remover. I talk about it all the time. A little goes a long way also. I use about that amount. And we're just going to rub it in. And I like to do the face part first. I'm not gonna focus too much on like really cleansing, mainly because I'm sure she's gonna cleanse my skin again before my service. I don't know exactly what service she's going to be giving me today, but I did tell her that I wanna do a consultation for her to have a look at my skin and then she can just decide the best course of treatment. And that's all I really do to take off my makeup for right now. Usually I go back in with, with another cleanse, but because again, we're going for a facial, I'm not really gonna care too much about, um, you know, cleaning my skin thoroughly. And I'm just gonna keep my hair out of my face. And just to finish up, I'm just gonna be applying this collagen facial oil from Charlotte Tilbury and this is just going to just act as a moisturizer just for a couple minutes just until I get there because I don't want to apply moisturizer or anything my moisturizers are like kind of like expensive <laughs> so I don't want to waste it because I know she's going to wash it off anyways just apply this just kind of have something on my skin I would put sunscreen but I feel like it's not necessary it's like literally nighttime. And honestly, when I go out and my hair is not really styled, I just wear my silk beanie thing. It's basically a bonnet, but like a fancy one. I don't feel as bad wearing it. I just feel seen like I'm being conservative. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's go. Also, before I head out, I want to just write a little note to my doorman so I can put his tip in here. I have a pack of on envelopes that I ordered from Amazon ages ago. Thank God I kept them. Um, I really don't know what to write, so I'm just gonna say Merry Christmas. <laughs> or just say Happy Holidays in case he doesn't celebrate Christmas. Happy Holidays. Octavia. Ugh, this is so like cringe. I mean, I could have gotten a card. I'll still try to see if I get a card though before I give it to him, but if not, I'm just gonna have to put the money in this. Okay, let's go. Hey guys, so all done with my facial. I'm so glowy, my skin feels amazing. I can't believe this is like my first facial ever. I did a back facial because I do have some hyperpigmentation there and I did my face. Um, it was a really lovely experience. I definitely will be coming back. It's on the pricier side. I think I probably pay like 600, I'm sorry, like 530 because not only did I do a facial, I did a peel. I have a peel on it right now. So like a lighter peel, like the clear and brilliant peel and then we have a spot, like more stronger peel over all these spots which she said should help clear them up. And I also have a peel on my back too. So for a facial and a peel, I think we did pretty good. Oh, oh, no, no, you're fine. <laughs> so yeah, I think we did pretty good and the results should be amazing.
welcome to your second home. I hope my candle's gonna break. Ow! What's this, under the Christmas tree? Okay, all my candles made it. And then this one is, what's it called? Mahogany Teakwood Intense. Yeah. Okay, so I kind of wanted to unpack today. I've already done a couple things, but I'm going to be... I'm heading out really quick. I kind of want to wear this shirt from Aritzia. I forgot the name of it, but it's the Florine Sculpt Knit. has a cutout in the chest. I think it's really cute. And I'd probably just wear this with, like, blue jeans a bag and like sneakers because I'm really not in the mood to wear heels or for a pop of color I could just wear this I think it'd be really cute also very daytimey very brunchy and I would probably just do um, sneakers as well with the jeans and like a bag you know what I mean so super simple um, or even keep it really colorful and wear even like these coach earrings I think that would be a vibe, but I'm not sure. Or maybe I could do... I feel like I've worn this set so often, like this blue leather and top set. So I don't want to wear it again. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we'll figure it out. First, getting ready with me with the shortcut. Let's jump into it. So I have 20 minutes to get ready, not a lot of time, and I'm a little bit stressed, so let's jump right in. Sunscreen. Magic Serum by Charlotte Tilbury. This is gonna give you a flawless base. Brow Freeze by ABH. And this is like a this is like a jelly pomade type of thing. It's gonna help to keep your brow hairs upright, which I love because it makes my brows look huge, which I'm into. So nice. Okay, I look crazy, but we're just gonna leave it like this for right now. Let's jump into like the foundation part. Going in with this Beauty Blender like skin tint. I'm going to use a very little amount of this only because it helps to color correct um your skin i usually wear this alone like when i'm going to like the gym or something because it's like really great do you see that it literally just blurs your skin and i like to use my fingers with this okay i think i'm wearing a turtleneck so i think i'm good in the blending going in with my hourglass concealer um, don't use too much at once. Kind of just do it right up here and just along the outer areas. Let's do the brows because I always feel crazy with no eyebrows, like when they're not done. So we already have that thing on. My spoolie broke. So we're just gonna go in with this powder duo. I use this side, as you can tell. Um, and I'm just going to basically fill in my brows from the bottom and create the shape that I want. Okay, then I'm just going to brush it, like smooth it out on the top part because it looks crazy like that. Okay, and then once I've done that, I'm just going to go in with like a concealer brush and I'm just going to clean them up so they look a little bit neater. I feel like I just made my nose look like so much worse. Okay, okay. Blush, I mean, I used the one size blush in the shade Rich Bitch. 
and this blush is very pigmented if i were you i'd put like rub it on your hands first to get some of the pigment off then apply it to your cheeks because it is extremely pigmented and yeah anyways just applying some blush and it's literally my perfect shade of blush um, it complements my skin tone so well it gives more of a bronzy look which i appreciate see all that pigment be careful like it's so pigmented taking another blending brush i'm going to take that color i'm going to put that on my lids also i love when my cheek and my eyelids have the same like tones i think it's so flattering i'm going to apply this like very heavily on the lid area because i love this color and then just taking that highlighter color and putting it right in the tear duct I think that's super cute. I'm gonna go in with my one size. This is their eyeliner. And I'm just going to use this to do a really skinny eyeliner line. Um, zooming these in, because I want you guys to see just how skinny this line has to be. Now we're going in with our highlighter and this is from House Labs and I'm just going to apply a little highlighter on my cheekbones. I feel like no one does highlighter anymore and I am I'm still into it. And I love this one from House Labs because it's like so beautiful on the skin. And the shade that I'm using is called Golden Pyrite and I just love it. I mean, it's really, really beautiful. And I just love that the glow it gives is just one of those like, it's just, when you see it in real life, it's just so beautiful and it's not glittery, doesn't like get everywhere. And I just apply it to like the highest point of my face. For mascara, I'm gonna be using my YSL mascara. This is the best mascara I've ever used. And take it from me, I've probably tried every mascara out there because I don't wear falsies or anything. So I rely on mascaras very heavily. For lips, I'm using my ABH brown lip liner. It's in the shade called um, Malt. So I'm just gonna use this to line my lips. And if you guys know me, you know I love a brown liner look. this clear gloss by nars i think i want to do a clear gloss today yeah i'm gonna do a clear gloss i'm just gonna apply this okay so my lips are two different colors if you can't tell like this one's pink or this one's more of the tone that i want it to look like so i'm just gonna go back in with my blush so this blush palette has like a cream blush at the top here i'm just going to like dab my finger in here and kind of just dab this on my lips just to kind of deepen the pink a little bit because i do not like that pinky shade just do it to the top as well I think this looks a little bit better, so. Hey guys, good morning. So I don't really remember where I left you guys. I think I left you guys when I was getting ready to head out. Home from Target, I got a couple of things. I have I got this little faux orchid plant. This is gonna go in the guest bath. I'll take you guys upstairs so you can see that soon. Um, I got two more paintings that we have in the hallway upstairs. Um, it only comes in a pack of two and we needed three, so I just got another pack. The extra one, we can figure out some place to put it, but I got this here. I think it looks really nice. And let me brighten you guys because I feel like you guys are looking a little bit dull. Okay, 
Next up, I got some additional things for the guest bathroom. I got this like bamboo wicker thing to put like hand, you know, like hand towels in. I also got this bath towel. Just a simple white one, you know, white is just always really nice and clean. And I also got two of these, so it's one here and another one in here. I also got some gray towels as well, but when I go upstairs, I can show you guys what everything looked like. What else I got? I got six of these mugs. Um, I think they just look really, really good with the gray walls and like the decor that I'm adding. I got some home stuff to wear around the house. Cause I feel like, you know what, I don't have a lot of like house clothes. Cause I have to be wearing like these in the house, like jeans. And who wants to wear jeans? Okay, so I got this hoodie. And, okay. So, I also got this hoodie and sweatpants set. Just to wear in the house. I think it's like really nice and cozy. Cozy vibes. And then also, I got another, what do you call this? It's like a pajama pajama dress i'm gonna link this below for you guys i'm a huge fan of these they're so soft and i thought they were more expensive than what it was it was only 19 dollars. and honestly if i were you just buy every color and then finally i got this bath mat for upstairs as well um and finally for the bathroom i just got these it's like a transparent little soap canister i'm gonna put soap and lotion so yeah and also this, I wanted to get something for like Q-tips. I think I'm gonna put um, Q-tips, cotton rounds, and floss in these. Yeah, um, these two pictures here, and this is the remainder. I do love how this looks. I'm gonna just put the final one, well not me, but the final one is just gonna go up here and because the floor is dark and these like you know wooden things I think it'll look pretty good and um yeah these are the things we're going to get go in the guest bathroom so put the orchid here just the first thing you see when you kind of enter the bathroom I think that looks really nice the soap can go in the center here that looks really good and this thing can go either to the side here. So we have somewhat of like, you know, decorative items um, in each area. What I have going on today is just some like stuff for the house. I made myself a little list. Um, I currently have a face peel on that, um, for my facial, I really didn't peel that much or it's not like the like aggressive peel. It's more like the like little peel. Um, also, the guy here is from like the heating and cooling place to check on the heating system downstairs because it's been kind of chilly. Yeah, I made myself a little list of things to do today. Um, I have to, have to do laundry. Um, I still have to finish the guest bathroom and I want to just start working on the guest bedrooms. And um, we have this rug that I'm not sure about. I mean, I'm, I know for a fact I'm not sure about it. It's too small and I don't like the very busy design that it has. Um, so I would love to make a decision on what rug to get today. Um, because I really want to order it. Um, this is my first time like ever like having a space big enough to like invite my family for Christmas. So I really want to host them this holidays and I really do want the living room to look nice. Yeah, but it's hard to decide what rug to get because I don't know what couch I'm gonna, not couch, what dining table I'm gonna get. Now in the closet, I'm gonna get started on just putting all my clothes on hangers. I don't have all my clothes here, obviously but just what I do have, I just would like it to still look, you know, nice and neat.
my fireplace is up and running. You know, long I've been asking for this fireplace. It's a Christmas miracle. Okay, my tree does look a little bit sad. So I'm gonna put some more ornaments on. Hi guys, happy Sunday. So it's Sunday. I'm currently just sitting on the floor here in front of the fireplace because it feels so good. I love that like intense heat. Not for too long though, because it gets so hot. But I'm currently working on today's vlog that you're watching. I really wanted to like edit this vlog because I feel like I've missed like two vlogs or more to be honest. I really wanted to get back into the weekly vlog, at least for the holiday season, give you guys some some kind of content at least. Um, and I actually want to do like some holiday themed videos. I did shoot like a hol like present wrapping kind of video which literally flopped. Like if you watch my live on Instagram, you know, like wrapping these presents was such a chore, but I do have more gifts to wrap. So I'm going to be wrapping those shortly. Well, maybe this week. I have so much to, to do today, so much to do. I ordered um, groceries from Whole Foods because I want to make lamb chops for dinner. And um, I just have like tons of laundry to do. I have to get the guest rooms ready because my family's coming here for Christmas and I'm so excited that I have a space big enough <laughs> now to like host my family. And um, so I'm gonna get the guest rooms ready for them and um, get that sorted, um, make dinner. I wanna go do my nails. My nails, they don't look too bad, but I feel like they're growing out. It's hard for you guys to tell though because when you do like French and keep the base similar to your own nail shade, when it grows out, it doesn't look as bad. So they, I could really stretch it, but I don't want to. Um, so I'm gonna do that. So right now I'm just drinking my tea, having some wafer cookie things that I picked up from Target yesterday. I always get these and they're so bad for you, but I don't know, like I eat one and then the whole thing is gone because they're so addicting. Um, I usually get the strawberry one, but I just decided to try out the vanilla and it's so good. Fish, mmm. Yeah, but that's pretty much what's going on. That's pretty much what's going on today. Just gonna get um, the gift stuff sorted, laundry sorted, guest room sorted, dinner today sorted. I really wanna get this vlog up. Like, that's my first priority. First priority. All right, groceries are here. I'm just gonna put them in the kitchen. Ordered a bunch of stuff. Yeah, we're back. So in this bag we have, I think this might be my rack of lamb. Yeah, this is the lamb. Orange, peach, mango juice here. Um, organic, 100% juice. Only because I've, we've been drinking like a lot of like sugary stuff and I feel like I would rather us just drink natural fruit juice. If we're gonna have juice, I got some eggs and I actually flung this bag down at the door just now. Okay, none's broken, good. Got some bread for sandwiches. I also got four, um, what's this? Like brown butter chocolate chip cookies. If you've never had these from Whole Foods, try them out i'm not a cookie person i'm not a baked goods person period but they are so good and i just got one bag of like vegetable terra chips these are so healthy my mom would buy these for me like a lot when i was like living at home and i really like them potatoes because i want to make mashed potatoes with the lamb chops for dinner so i got potatoes for that and that's all that's in that bag Oh, wait. Oh. It's my vanilla bean ice cream. This is gonna be for dessert with the cookies. Yeah. Always have to get dessert. Some bananas. Yeah, some bananas. We actually have bananas here, but they are really, really ripe. So I'm gonna use them for fritters. So this is just for like, you know, just in case we want bananas to eat, this is it. I do a honey balsamic glaze for my lamb, which is so yummy. If I have time today, I'll film it. I 
just don't want this video to be up too late. Also got some light amber honey. I also got this Herb Fest seasoning. Um, it's good for, wait, what is this for? Okay, I just got like a, like a blend. That's gonna just go on the lamp. I also wanted to try out this hot cocoa by this brand called Lake Chaplin. Um, it looked like it was, it was very, it was kind of expensive, okay? So I'm like, you know what? This might be like a really good hot chocolate because I don't like the little instant ones by Swiss. So disgusting. And finally, well not finally, but in this bag we have mayo for the sandwiches. I got some rosemary. Rosemary is super good on lamb. It really helps with the gamey taste. Um, I got some pure Irish butter for the mash. I also got a little thing of watermelon because I'm obsessed with watermelon. I got some lettuce <laughs> for the sandwiches. I got some turkey breast for turkey sandwiches. <laughs> and And with the dinner today, I want to make green beans as our vegetables. Alright guys, so I seasoned the lamb chops um, and everything. That's what they look like. I just have them laid out on this baking sheet, but I will be pan searing them and just adding a glaze. So yeah, I'm not gonna bake them, but they're just here for now. I also made a little balsamic glaze. I did freestyle with this um, because the recipe below that I will be linking for you just calls for like a simple glaze with honey, balsamic, I think some lemon rind, ginger, and garlic, but I did add all of those with a little tip of water, just kind of loosen it up a little bit because it's a little bit too thick. And I added scallion, thyme, rosemary, and some other herbs. And here I just prepped the potatoes for mashed potatoes. And for our vegetables, I just prep. And I basically just prepped this too. We'll be going to get my nails done, so I just wanted to have this stuff ready for when I come home. I can just make dinner really easily. I also sliced up some oranges just to kind of have out because I'm a snacker. So having fruit out ready to grab and eat really prevents me from snacking on unhealthy options throughout the day. So I just have this out. 